When we make coffee or fancy tea, we use filters so that the water passes through but holds back what we don't want. Well, farmers use buffer strips much the same way. That way, the water passes through but keeps the nutrients from the watershed. Iowa leads the nation in the number of buffer strips. But what is a saturated buffer? Let's take a look. Well, let's take a look at the saturated buffer. This is the business end right here, where we have a tile outlet coming out of the field, going out to the stream. We intercepted it right here. We capture some of the water it would normally discharge out into the stream. We take some of that water and we reroute it across the top of the buffer as shallow groundwater. And as the water infiltrates into that buffer, the high organic matter in the soil of that buffer helps remove that nitrate. So as the water finally makes it to the stream, the nitrate's been removed. Because this is a new conservation practice, soil scientists and the farmer are always monitoring. So we have sensors in the box that measure the flow of the water level in the box, which we can then uh, calculate what the flow rate is coming out of that field and going out into the buffer. We record that all here on a data logger powered by a, a solar uh, panel uh, connected to a battery. And then once a day, we phone that information back to our laboratory in Ames, Iowa. Guided by science, fueled by passion, farmers all around Iowa are working with watershed coordinators, learning about new things, and voluntarily putting in practices that improve the land and water. Looking at conservation and what we can do, soil erosion really bothers me, and, and this will help hold the phosphorus, you know, help hold the soil. Once that soil is gone, it's gone, and we ought to try to keep it. Every farm situation is different. It's got to work, you know, this may not work for some farmers. You know, if I can make this thing work and show that it works, I can do it on my own. There are more of these saturated buffer strips going in all around Iowa. But just like no one conservation practice will work for all parts of the state, conditions have to be just right for this one too. We like to see the riparian buffer to be a little lower in the landscape than the crop field because we are going to raise the water table here in a buffer. And then the other thing, we want to make sure that the soil here is proper. We need to have a soil that's deep, high organic matter, and we don't want it to be underlain with sands and gravels because then that'll just kind of short circuit that water and we won't get any benefit from the, from the saturated buffer then. 92% of Iowa is agriculture, and we grow more corn, beans, bacon, and eggs than any other state in the nation. But continuing that success means farmers and everyone, that means you, take care of the land and water. To learn more, check out conservationcountsiowa.com. With your conservation Q&A, I'm Lori Johns.